telling, I think it was Jake the other day, that he wants, uh, as a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, he wants an investigation of the FBI. Sorry, here's John Podesta. Let's listen in at the uh, Hillary Clinton uh, event. Thank you. Well, folks, I know you've been here a long time, and it's been a long night, and it's been a long uh, campaign. But I could say uh, we can wait a little longer, can't we? <laughs> We're still counting votes, and every vote should count. Several states are too close to call, so we're not going to have anything more to say tonight. So listen, listen to me. Everybody should uh, head home. You should get some sleep. We'll have more to say tomorrow. I want you to know, I want every person in this hall to know, and I want every person across the country who supported Hillary to know that your voices and your enthusiasm means so much to her and to Tim and to all of us. We are so proud of you. And we are so proud of her. She's done an amazing job, and she is not done yet. So thank you for being with her. She has always been with you. I have to say this tonight. Good night. We will be back. We'll have more to say. Let's get those votes counted, and let's bring this home. Thank you so much for all of you have done. We are, you are in all of our hearts. Thank you. John Podesta speaking to a group of uh, Hillary Clinton supporters and what was in the opinion of many of the people in that room supposed to be a victory party for Hillary Clinton certainly does not to be turning out that way. Does it surprise you that, that we're not going to be hearing from Hillary Clinton tonight? Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I can see wanting to wait and see what happens. I don't know what her state of mind is uh, right now, and, and they don't know how long it'll be before. Do you think uh, Donald Trump still comes out uh, if, if it starts to get called by you know, networks? I suspect if the media organizations uh, call it that he may speak tonight. I, I would ask the Secretary of State and the Attorney General. Supreme <laughs> <laughs> Court Justice, if you didn't see the interview, thank you very much. Do you, do you think Trump would come out? First and foremost, Hillary Clinton is going to lose tonight. She should call Donald Trump immediately and say, you've run a great race, thank you very much. Secondly, she owes it to the American people to make a speech. If this was Donald Trump sending out the chairman of his campaign saying we're not going to address this tonight because all the votes aren't counted. It's uh, what, two o'clock in the morning on the East Coast. We have 99.9% .9 of these ballots counted. We're waiting for a small fraction in Pennsylvania, a small fraction in Wisconsin, which will not materially change the outcome of this election. I think this is the, exactly to Van's point, not bringing the country together. This is saying I, you will I, I hear something moving I, forward, I, I but it, it won't be from us. And look, is, okay, John, let, Podesta, let, let, let John Podesta could have just emailed everyone yesterday, and we would have got this from WikiLeaks as opposed to just coming out tonight mm. and doing this. This is absurd. Class. This I don't, is, I don't, I don't you know think Van thinks you, you were making what? exactly his point. This, this, this is so <laughs> egregious that if this was Donald Trump, the hypocrisy yeah. Corn. would be so Corn. outrageous. Corn. That, you know what someone in this panel would call him? The Corn. George Costanza you, of this election. Corn, That's what he would be called right now. Corey. Corey. You won. So where is the conciliatory note to say, I want my people to support one president? On Where's that message? It's got to start with you, man. No, no, it has to start with the president who second. ran. It has to start with Hillary Clinton who uh, ran. Look, look, I didn't run for president. John Podesta didn't run for president. See, this is, the, this, is, this is the fear. Here it is. You see it. You won. Say it she, again. I didn't hear you. You won. <laughs> That's right. And Hillary Clinton should say that to the American people and say, support Donald Trump because he's it. one president. This is it. This is, this, man, this man, is, man, let, let me finish. Yeah. I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. Look, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. She'll talk in the morning. Will she? Uh, oh. let, let him finish. Let him finish. Corey, you're being a horrible person right now. Let me finish. If this was Donald Trump, the hypocrisy would be so outrageous right now. now I, I want every parent at home. At 2 o'clock in the morning? Every, I want every parent at home who's up right now, who's, 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 try, who's trying to figure out. Up. Yeah, who, who, who are up right now trying to figure out how are we going to get through this, right? Where is the grace going to come from? Where, where, where is the understanding? Where is the empathy going to come from? It's going to have to come from ordinary people. We, to, tomorrow at work, when we go and, and look, look at people who we don't agree with, this can't be the interaction. It's going to have to be ordinary people reaching out to each other. I'm going to say one, one more thing before I, I, I let a, a smarter person talk about smarter things. 
when they were beating up on Melania Trump this past week, I stuck up for her because I thought it was inhuman and disgusting for somebody who never signed up to be a political wife to go out there and do her best and actually ask for the bullying to stop and then be bullied herself. Because you gotta treat people like human beings. Tonight, Hillary Clinton's a human being. I think we give her a break, let her come out tomorrow and do a good job. And I'm telling you what, if, if we can't begin to be, treat each other in a more human way, this thing is gonna go from bad to horrible. Hold on. Ron just joining us. Yeah, let, let me. To, to, to bring up Melania Trump, who I happen to know and respect immensely, I heard so many people sit on this network. Not me? And critic not you, you're right. So many people criticized her for saying that her priority was going to be anti-bullying because of what her husband has said on Twitter. Criticized her. Multiple people, all the time. And tonight, to say that one of two people who's going to be elected president of the United States is not going to come out and say we should unite behind the person who is the no, person. Excuse me, you had your chance. It's not my turn. You're saying the is, same thing four times in a row. No, what Van is saying is we have to get the respect from the people at home yep. to come out and support Donald Trump. No, no. They put their faith in Hillary Clinton. And she received tens of millions of votes today and won a series of states. And she's the leader of the Democratic Party. And, and for her out. not to walk, to, it's, is it too late? Right. Yeah. And we're so, saying she, she, she should definitely come out. Well, and say, and support and Donald I Trump. Think, I think, look, as we've just seen, this is an election that has deeply, deeply divided the country. I mean, the share, the polling, we, we, we look, we'll, we'll probably get the polling overnight. But the polling going in was that 90% of Clinton voters were strongly unfavorable to Trump. 90% of Trump voters were strongly unfavorable to Clinton. It is still entirely possible that Hillary Clinton will win the popular vote, given the West Coast states of California, mm -hmm. Washington, and Oregon. Oregon, and Donald Trump will win uh, the presidency by, uh, by dominating in the Rust Belt. But the divisions in the country, the urban, non-urban, he won working class white voters, non-college white voters by more than Ronald Reagan did. And, but the gap between the way they voted and the way the college educated white voters was the biggest ever. So there are a lot of divides that are left after this election and it is going i agree I, I think hillary clinton if she is you know it, it, and it looks like a very kind of thin you know road uh if she is the loser she has to make she has to make a gesture to reach out and i think what donald trump does as well you, you, you've got to recognize I mean, that we are we are in a very unique situation where uh, essentially half the country is not only disappointed they are frightened by the outcome either way and that is just under half the country look, look, and that is and that is a big uh, development going forward do you, do you know how many times we heard, will Donald Trump concede this race? Will he call into question? Right. You know what we're seeing tonight? We're seeing Hillary Clinton, who refuses to concede. She has lost That's this election. Point. Whether it has been called or not, the race is over. And we heard for weeks that Donald Trump will call into question the legitimacy of this election. He will not concede. What will his people do? Will there be an outrage? Where is the outrage tonight that Hillary Clinton refuses to call and concede the election. The race is over. I mean, this is such a basic thing to do. And, and I, Van, to your point, and you certainly don't remember this. I do. In one of Nixon's losing races, either for president or governor of California, he did exactly some version of this and waited until the next day and wouldn't do it. <clears throat> and you know what they said? He's got no class. <laughs> I remember this vividly. And here we are, and Hillary Clinton does this, and everybody says, oh, well, maybe she's tired. I don't think so. Guys, the race yeah. hasn't even yeah. been called yeah. yet. Well, it then stay up and wait for it to be called. We well, are running for leader the of the yeah. very world. Yeah. What a time, what a time. Let's get it conceded on the day after the election. This is not that extraordinary. But here, but I think the advice that Van was trying to give you is good advice, and I'm just giving it to you as someone who's been on the side, on the winning side of elections, which is you can either use this as an occasion to sort of uh, strut and 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 pay for strutting and payback, or you rise to the occasion and say we have now won. We've got to bring the country together. And since you are the leader, if your guy's going to be the leader of the country and really sure the leader of the free world, then there's an onus on him to do that. It's and and, and the fact that his opponent uh, is waiting for the votes to be counted. It shouldn't be the occasion for you to replay everything that bothers you about it, about what's been said over the course of the campaign. You've won, so act like you've won. I, I think I think Donald Trump is going to go on tonight. I think he's waiting for Hillary Clinton to call him and concede this race, and then he's going to make a very gracious speech, which says, "I want to be the president of the entire United States. I want to bring everyone together." I don't think it's outrageous for him to wait. Has argued. I don't think anybody, has argued, I, I don't think anybody here tonight has argued that he should not come out. 
right. and he should not deliver that. Well, kind if we don't of have speech. the election results, why would he come out? Well, he should, well, there, well there, maybe, but my, yeah. I, my my assumption would be he would wait till somebody calls it and then come out, and so he could have the whether the she do, calls him or not. Yeah, whether she calls him or not, and yeah. and then yeah. it maybe it looks makes her look even even worse, but. He at least gets his due tonight, which is certainly well deserved, given and, and the, that's the incredible what I was going to say. It's, it's not as if because yeah. she's gone home, right. this process is about to end. Yeah. This process is continuing as we speak, and when the race gets declared, I think it's entirely appropriate. But, but I do think to, to, to Corey's point, I mean, I think Corey raised an interesting point. There was a lot of criticism of Donald Trump. Yes. What would he do on election yeah. night if the roles were reversed and Donald Trump wasn't? You know, conceding well, tonight. No, no, no. The question, well, the question was, he would he, was he was asked whether he would accept the, the result of yeah. the right. election, and he wouldn't say. There's no indication here that she's not going to accept yeah. the result of the election. Well, the result of the election hasn't been officially uh, declared yet. So I, I, I you know, go ahead. I'm and sorry. if the roles were, were reversed, and you might not know the answer to this, would Donald Trump want to wait for every vote to be counted? I think he was expecting all, I'm, all I'm saying is, so is all I'm saying is, this goes to the, I mean, one of the things that drove this entire election is this belief, this passionate belief, that there is a double standard, one standard for elites and the other standard for the regular folks, Donald Trump being the representative of the regular folks here. Yeah, and to but, Corey's but Jeffrey, point, I think exactly, to Corey's point, exactly, if this were reversed, you can only imagine the criticism that Donald let, Trump would have let me tell if you he had sent Jeffrey. Kellyanne Jeffrey, out right. there to say, go home and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, you're right, but there's, the, the difference isn't just that your guy is, is the blue-collar billionaire and Hillary Clinton's the elite. The difference would be that your guy said he wasn't sure if he would accept it. And she has never said that. And so that's why, you're, you're, you are correct. If Donald Trump were being hesitant, it would trigger those old memories. But she didn't go down the road your guy went down, and that's why she would be treating yeah, but, treated but, but, but the fact is, that even if Donald Trump hadn't come out, as, as, as uh, Gloria, I think, was pointing out, Hillary Clinton would have come out. I mean, he can still come out and say, I've won, once, once the, that verdict is kind of, uh, you know, reached by the, uh, by the networks, I, by all I, of us. Why is it so much about the timing? I understand yeah. it. But it's also about what they say, and that's, I think, was, was, was your point. And I think Hillary Clinton needs to be gracious about the stunning victory that Donald Trump has had, number one. He won, and he reset the map. He blew it up. His supporters came out where we didn't think they were. Polling was wrong, we were wrong, everything was wrong. I mean, his own analytics people had him winning in Wisconsin, but they didn't believe their own analytics. <laughs> That's how stunning you know, I, this I, was. I think, I think back to the, second, the end of the second debate and the last question that was asked by somebody in the audience, which was, say something nice about yeah. the other right. person. Right. Hillary Clinton said, uh, Donald Trump's, Trump's kids, good which is, right. you know, that's an easy one. I thought his answer was, uh, I thought it was a great answer, but I also thought it really showed kind of the charm of Donald Trump that his supporters see and like and that people who know him well say they see one-on-one -on -one and see in meetings right. and know socially, which was him saying something which, he, I mean, he attacked her in campaign commercials for, but said, you know, she that's doesn't grit. give up. She's got grit. She's, and I thought that answer, I was like, wow, that's a side of Donald yeah. Trump you know, that is something that everybody can kind of like. And, I, and I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see a lot of that Donald Trump in whatever tonight. speech he makes tonight. And that tonight. may be what I, I you're seeing tonight I with her. We'll. She's yeah. not giving up till the, mm -hmm. till the last vote is counted. Can I, can I, um, I mean, unless we want to beat this around a while longer, but I don't want to invite you to do it. <laughs> uh, let me just say this. Um, you know, you said earlier, and I think you're right, that part of the frustration that people were expressing tonight. By the way, this is Donald Trump arriving uh, at uh, campaign headquarters, mm -hmm. uh, where we uh, believe he will uh, be speaking. Uh, you can hear the response. Let's just listen in uh, some of the votes of the people outside the street, sharing him there. And that's a hat in a box that uh, has, been, uh, has been there. I'm guessing he's going to take it out of the box. I don't know. Um, but that is uh, Donald Trump arriving. Uh, we assume he will be speaking tonight. Sorry, but continue, David. No, what I was going to say is Corey said earlier, and he's right, that people have heard, you know, Bill Clinton ran for president, said he wanted to run for the forgotten middle class, and every president subsequently has said we're going to address some of these big economic problems that, uh, that our economy and other economies have faced that have, that have particularly been visited upon uh, working class uh, manufacturing sector workers and so on. Uh, Donald Trump ran for you. Said, Don, Don, you said Donald Trump ran for office, making 
uh, speaking the truth. He's going to have to now carry through on those things. That That's going to be very difficult. And there, if he doesn't, he's going to have the same reaction visited on him that we, other politicians. We just have. saw Chris Christie. Uh, we also saw uh, former Mayor Rudy Giuliani, uh, uh, Donald Trump's entourage, uh, his supporters, his family uh, heading. Uh, we haven't seen the I haven't gotten a glimpse of the candidate uh, himself, uh, but uh, we, uh, we anticipate seeing him shortly. Uh, there's a lot of folks waiting. Uh, what started out, I mean, it was really interesting when you think back to 5 o'clock this afternoon, 6 o'clock, Kellyanne Conway earlier in the day on another network had given an interview sort of saying uh, that they hadn't gotten as much support from the RNC, from Republican establishment as they liked. A lot of people online kind of interpret that as, well, they're trying to set the stage for a disappointing night. Uh, that is certainly not whatever the mood might have been internally early on. It is certainly <laughs> Anderson. It's, completely it's beyond changed. that. There was a story that broke it many moons ago, the afternoon yesterday, that said that John Kasich had scheduled a speech mm -hmm. Thursday afternoon in Washington, right. and that the purpose was to reclaim the direction of the Republican <laughs> yeah. Party. Yeah. I assume he won't be delivering at least that speech on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, I mean all of. He didn't need the RNC. He didn't need uh, Kasich. He didn't need any of those folks uh, who abandoned him in some ways, the Bush family. Uh, you saw Paul Ryan sort of flip-flop on him, seeming to, you but, know, back him, then saying he wouldn't, but then ultimately endorsing him. You wonder what happens to Paul Ryan. You wonder what happens to that whole class of folks uh, who, who thought they were going to be the future and, and of the Republican because Party. Because they like are all still here. I mean, that's